Welcome to Wilson Center Now. I'm John Molesky. Our guest today is Hideki Makahara, Japan's Vice Minister for the Environment. He joins us from Tokyo, where he will help us discuss the third anniversary of the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident. And Mr. Makahara, good morning, yeah. Tokyo time. Good evening here from D.C. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Good evening and good morning. I want to ask you about the current status of the plant and efforts uh, on the cleanup. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, um, it was three years ago, and uh, four uh, plants were uh, blown, up, uh, uh, blown up. And uh, uh, so for three years, uh, there are, let's say, uh, mainly two uh, issues regarding the uh, nuclear plant accident, and the one is the, the decontamination. So we spend a huge amount of money in uh, decontaminating uh, areas. So, uh, but uh, it is uh, going very well. So uh, from this April, uh, one city, a whole one city, everybody can go. Uh, you know, coming back to home. So now it's going well. How, how much do you know about impact on public health, not just the, the physical environment and nature, but on, on human beings? I know it's early and uh, radiation can take generations to manifest, but what do you know so far? Right. Um, our ministry is in charge of uh, checking uh, people's health. And uh, uh, as you know, uh, we check the old children uh, living in Fukushima. Uh, how to say the, the cancer in the neck. Uh, I don't know the name of the in the English, mm -hmm. but uh, we check the, everybody's uh, neck uh, whether the there's a cancer. The thyroid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. thyroid, yeah. And uh, we found uh, around 33 children uh, uh, having a you know, small cancer, but uh, uh, we think or we have concluded uh, there is a no uh, apparent effect uh, from the nuclear plant accident. And our, what about the confidence of the Japanese people? How are they feeling about this? There are lots of people concerned that even though your initial tests are positive, that some of these health effects could manifest over time. What What is the public opinion saying about it? Um, yes, um, I think the people are getting how to say, more and more confident about the safety of uh, uh, Fukushima uh, nuclear plant accident. But uh, uh, it is true there are uh, some people who still are strongly worried about uh, the effect of mm -hmm. this accident. That's true. What about economic costs? Economic costs, um, uh, we spend a huge amount of money, uh, not only from the uh, Tokyo Electric uh, company, but also the government money as well, and uh, uh, economic impact is so far. Uh, of course, there are huge damage uh, to the agriculture people and the fishery people, but uh, uh, otherwise, I think we are uh, getting uh, recovering uh, very well. What's a reasonable expectation as far as a timeline for? what could be as close to a full recovery as possible. We're three years post-accident. What's realistic as far as expectations for how quickly you can be to a circumstance where things are reasonably clear? Yeah. Uh, the biggest problem is the uh, we can't go into the uh, number one, two, three uh, uh, plant because too uh, high level uh, the radiation uh, levels are so high. The level is too high. So nobody knows uh, what is exactly e e happening inside of the plants. So uh, that is a huge problem. So uh, we, we don't know yet how, uh, how long it takes to uh, clear up the situation uh, you know, in, inside of the e plants. So that's the biggest problem. But uh, otherwise, uh we think uh it takes let's say e seven years to uh, set the e situation uh safe is there a future for nuclear energy and nuclear power plants in japan or has public opinion turned in a way where you're going to be looking at alternatives 
Right. Um, you know, last year uh, we set the we think uh, the most difficult, uh, most strict rules, uh, regulation, regulating rules uh, against the nuclear plant uh, uh, restart. And uh, now the uh, Japanese NLT uh, is checking uh, several nuclear plants whether they are safe or not. Uh, so our government uh, position is if Japanese NRT, NRC, e, e, you know, uh, believe it is safe, uh, you know, we will restart the nuclear plant. And uh, it is true the half, let's not half, uh, more than half Japanese people, uh, you know, are against the restarting the nuclear plant. But our government position is, uh, you know, uh, even majority of Japanese people are against the restart. Uh, we will start uh, the nuclear plant. Final question I have for you is about the, the, the major lessons learned uh, beyond some of the technical things uh, that need to be applied so that uh, plants are safer from earthquakes or tsunamis or the types of things that happen, natural disasters. What are the main lessons learned for any country that is thinking of nuclear energy as part of its energy equation? Um, our uh, Let's say the lesson is even everybody believe it is safe. Uh, there is no one hundred percent safe safe uh, regarding the nuclear plant, nuclear energy. That's our lesson. So you know, I personally believe you know if without nuclear plant and the energy is uh, supply is enough. I think uh, we don't need a nuclear plant. But uh, you know, in the industrial industrial countries and uh, in Japan, in particular Japan, uh, the country has no natural resource and no big energy source. Uh, I think for several years uh, we need a nuclear plant. Uh, otherwise, our economy will go down. Well, Mr. Makihara, thank you very much for joining us today, and best of luck to you and, and to Japan as you continue to deal with uh, the, the cleanup necessary after this disaster. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Wilson Center Now. We'll see you again.